Welcome to Kautilya. Today's topic is regarding to launching vehicles of ISRO. We all know that the famous launching vehicles of ISRO are PSLV and next one is GSLV. PSLV is known as an Polar Satellite Launching Vehicle. It is known as an Polar Satellite Launching Vehicle. And a GSLV is known as an Geosynchronized Satellite Launching Vehicle or Geostationary Satellite Launching Vehicles. These two are the important rockets of ISRO. So let's see what actually this PSLV and GSLV. <coughs> PSLV is the one of the world's most reliable launching vehicle. Why it is called most reliable launching vehicle? Because so far India has launched 30 times. Among the 30 times, 28 launches are highly successful and 2 are partially failure. Because of this reason, it is known as a most reliable launching vehicle. And with the help of uh, this PSLV rocket, ISRO launches many satellites like Chandrayaan mission, like a uh, Mars orbital mission, and uh, like this, so many satellites have been launched with the help of ISRO, with the help, sorry, with the help of PSLV. Hence, it is also known as a workhorse of ISRO. With the help of PSLV, ISRO mostly launches remote sensing satellites. Remote sensing satellites. <coughs> and these satellites are launched in north and south directions of the earth. Hence, this launching vehicles is known as polar launching vehicle and these satellites you can see it in the picture that this polar satellites revolves in north and south direction of the earth so PSLV launches satellites in the lower earth orbit or sun synchronized orbit this lower earth orbit is also known as a sun synchronized orbit and what it will launch in this lower earth orbit and sun synchronized orbit? It will launch this remote sensing satellites. And what is the use of this remote sensing satellites? It is used for studying of different, res different resources on the surface of the earth. And next comes to this PSLV has another future that it has a capacity to launch multiple of payloads multiple of payloads means it can launch multiple of satellites in a single launch it also has a capacity to launch multiple of missions in a single launch it not only launches satellites in low earth orbit or sun synchronized orbit it also launches lower weight satellites or lower payloads in geosynchronized transfer orbits. Whereas in case of low earth orbit or sun synchronized orbit, it will launch higher payloads or higher weight satellites. Higher weight means it may up to 600 kgs. And in case of uh, geos synchronized transfer orbit it will launches 1000 kg range satellites so what actually i am trying to say is PSLV rocket launches higher weight like 1600 kgs in lower earth orbits or geo sorry sun synchronized orbits whereas low weight satellites like 1000 kg range satellites will be launched in the geo synchronized transfer orbits. Hence, PSLV has a capacity to launch more weight satellites in lower earth orbit and light weight satellites in geosynchronous transfer orbits. So, in both orbits, we can launch 
satellites with the help of PSLV. And another <coughs> important feature of this PSLV is that it is a four stage rocket. So it consists of four stage propulsion systems which consists of solid and liquid phase in alternative manner. That, act, that means this is the first stage. In first stage we use solid fuel. We use solid fuel and this is the second stage. In second stage it is liquid fuel. It is liquid fuel and in the third stage again it is solid and in the fourth stage it is liquid. So in this PSLV rocket solid and liquid propulsion systems are arranged in an alternative manner. The first stage is the largest solid propellant system or booster in the world and in the second stage we use liquid fuel for rocket with the help of Vikas engine. In the PSLV rocket in the second stage Vikas engine is used and the fuel is liquid fuel and uh, this PSLV rockets is divided into three types or categorized into three types based on the booster straps present on it. So what actually these booster straps? These booster straps are nothing but they give initial thrust to the first stage of these rockets during the lift off time. So let's see what are those categories. One is PSLV G and next one is PSLV XL and the third one is PSLV CA. <coughs> what actually this PSLV G? In case of PSLV G, they use 6 HTP based solid strap on motors. And in this 6 HTP PB, 6 HTP TPB means nothing but it is a fuel which is used in the PSLV G rocket type of version and it is <coughs> 9 tons weight and in case of PSLV XL extremely XL means extremely large version they use 12 tons of strap on boosters whereas PSLV core alone versions they doesn't have any kind of strap on boosters. So as I said you that this strap on boosters or strap on mo motors you can see this these are the strap on boosters or strap on motors which are used for giving the thrust to the initial stage or first stage of this rocket. So based on this uh, strap on bo boosters this PSLV rocket have been categorized into three types that is PSLV G, PSLV XL and PSLV CA. So this is what regarding to this PSLV. So next one is orbits. Let us see the diagram in the orbits. <coughs> so these are the polar orbits and this is geostationary orbit or geosynchronized orbit. So PSLV launches satellite in this polar orbits and some lower weight of satellites in geostationary orbits. And what is the mission or what is the rocket that is used for launching satellite in satellites in geostationary orbits? That is nothing but the GSLV, geosynchronized satellite launching vehicles. This, but this GSLV is primarily used for launching INSAT satellites or we call it as a communication satellites. This GSLV is used for the launching of communication satellites 
in a geostationary orbit that means above the equator that means this is equator and above the equator they will launch this geostationary satellites the satellites mostly belongs to the class of communication either it is mobile communication either it is a telecommunications and uh, the specialty of this gslv is that it is a three stage engine it uses one solid rocket motor and one liquid rocket motor and at the topper stage it has cryogenic stage it is a, it has an cryogenic stage so <coughs> so at the first stage we all know that that is regarding to the solids solid fuel is used and in the second stage liquid engine is used and that is vikas engine what actually this cryogenic stage cryogenic stage means liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen is used in this cryogenic stage which are at minus degree temperatures and those temperatures are known as an cryogenic temperatures hence it is known as an cryogenic stage and next one is that gslv as i told you that it is primarily used for launching of insat payloads into the geostationary orbits so it will it will have a capacity to launch 2500 kg payloads in geostationary orbits and whereas in case of low earth orbits or sun synchronized orbit it can launch payloads up to 5000 so what is the difference between the pslv and gslv is pslv will launch lower payloads when compared with this gslv so let's why why it will launch more payloads when compared with pslv we can see this it in the differences between the pslv and gslv so regarding to this uh, gslv gslv has a four liquid strap on motors nothing but boosters we call it as a booster straps so in case of gslv there are four liquid strap on boosters so in one strap on booster we are powered by an vikas engine not only in the second stage of gslv vikas engine is present on in one of these strap on boosters also so why it is present on this strap on boosters means because it carry heavy loads when compared with pslv so give, so to provide initial high thrust during the launching of rocket they use vikas engine in one of the strap on boosters hence this is what regarding to this strap on boosters of gsl and uh, <clears throat> next one is differences between the pslv and gslv so no doubt that no doubt both the pslv and the gslv which is polar satellite launching vehicle and next one is geosynchronous satellite launching vehicle or the satellite launching vehicles or rockets of isro these are most highly successful rocket of isro pslv so first see the let's see the difference of pslv and gslv so pslv is mostly designed to launch the rockets in the sun synchronized orbit or lower earth orbits and it can carry mostly payloads up to 1600 to 1750 kg whereas gslv GSLV is designed to launch satellites in a geostationary orbits that is that means geostationary orbit means above the equator and 3600 kilometers above the equator it will launches the satellites so PSLV satellites are mostly remote sensing satellites remote sensing satellite we call it as IRS satellites indian remote sensing satellites 
and uh, GSLV are mostly communication satellites. This is used for the telecommunication and mobile communications. So this is what the major difference between the PSLV and GSLV. So another difference is that PSLV will carry lower payloads when compared with the GSLV. So PSLV carries up to 1750 kg payload whereas GSLV can carry 2500 kgs or in some lower orbit it may carry up to 5000 kgs. So this is what the second major difference of PSLV. And next one is that PSLV is a four stage engine and whereas GSLV is a three stage engine. It, it, it is a three stage engine and in case of PSLV solid and liquid phases are arranged in an alternative manner. Whereas in case of GSLV solid stage in case of first stage and in case of second stage it is liquid and in case of third stage it is a cryogenic engine. So different fuels are used in different stages. So because of this reason GSLV has a capacity to carry more payloads when compared with the PSLV. So based on the strap on boosters as I told you that PSLV is classified into three types PSLV CA, PSLV G or PSLV XL. So in case of uh, this GSLV GSLV is classified into two types GSLV and GSLV Mark II. So in GSLV Mark II it can carry up to 5000 kgs whereas a GSLV can carry only 2500 kgs. So GSLV Mark II is also a three stage engine whereas in case of first stage it uses solid rocket and in case of second stage it is liquid fuel and in case of third stage it is that means upper stage this stage they use cryogenic engines. So these are the major basic differences between the PSLV and GSLV. So let's see again what are the major differences. So PSLV is a polar satellite launching vehicle and GSLV is a geosynchronous or geostationary satellite launching vehicle. PSLV can carry payloads up to 1600 to 1750 kgs whereas GSLV can carry payloads up to 2500 to 5000. PSLV is a four stage engine whereas GSLV is a three stage engine. In case of PSLV liquid and solid fuels are used in alternative manner whereas in case of GSLV three stages consist of three types of fuels. In case of first stage it is solid. In case of second stage it is liquid, in case of third stage it is cryogenic liquid. So PSLV launches satellites in lower earth orbit or sun synchronized orbit whereas GSLV launches satellites in geostationary orbits. So this is what the major differences between the PSLV and GSLV. So regarding to these model questions will be like this. Write a short note on workers of ISRO, write a short note on GSLV and what is the differences between the PSLV and GSLV. So this is regarding to the model questions of mains, paper 5, science and technology. So thank you.